Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna take out our I Ready book again today. And today we're going to continue with retelling and recounting stories, going back and telling the order of things, what happened first, second, or third in the story, the beginning, the middle, and the end. So today I'd like you to open up to page 110. 110. And it is Pecos Bill and the Mountain Lion. Remember that you can pause at any time. Almost everybody knows about Pecos Bill. He was born in Texas a long time ago. He grew up with a pack of coyotes. He was one of the toughest cowboys in the West. Pecos Bill had a horse named Flash. He treated Flash like his best friend. But Bill didn't just ride horses. He could ride anything that came along. One day, Bill was riding Flash through the mountains. A giant mountain lion jumped out in front of them. The big cat growled and showed its sharp teeth. Bill jumped off Flash and sent him home so he was safe. Was Bill scared? Of course not. He grabbed a rattlesnake and made it into a lasso. Then he threw the lasso over the mountain lion and pulled it in. The cat knew it was no match for big Bill, so it gave up. Quickly, Bill jumped onto its back. Then he rode the mountain lion all the way home. Now, if we look down here at this purple box, it tells us what important events happen in the beginning, middle, and end of the story. I want you to go back and reread this story to yourself and underline a sentence that would tell you what happened in the beginning, underline a sentence for the middle, and underline a sentence for the ending. So go ahead and pause the video while you reread and underline a good sentence for the beginning, middle, and end. Question number one, which sentence tells something that happens in the middle of the story? A, Bill grew up with a pack of coyotes. B, Bill was born in Texas a long time ago. C, Bill sends Flash home to keep him safe. D, Bill rides the giant mountain lion back home. What do you think is a good sentence for the middle of our story? middle. Go ahead and highlight or circle your answer. I would have chosen C. Bill sends Flash home to keep him safe. Number two, why does Bill grab the rattlesnake? A, to use it like a rope to catch the mountain lion. B, to save it from being hurt by the mountain lion. C, to stop it from scaring his horse, Flash. D, to try to scare away the mountain lion with it. So why did Bill grab the rattlesnake? If you go back in the passage, you'll see it somewhere in here. Go back and reread. Again, pause the video if you need to. And the answer here would be A to use it like a rope to catch the mountain lion. You can see that right in number four, tells us that right there. Number three, what does Bill do when the mountain lion jumps in front of him? Recount these events to your partner in your own word. Remember, recount means to retell or restate. So go ahead and take a minute to pause, discuss with somebody at home, or in your class and tell, what does Bill do when the mountain lion jumps in front of him? Number four, short response. Recount the end of the story. Tell the most important events in order using your own words. Write your answer in the space on page 113. So you'll flip to 113 and tell me an order right here okay, on page 113, the, the end of the story, the most important events in order and use your own words. And then it tells you right here, hint. 
It says, hint, reread paragraph four to find out what Pecos Bill does with the mountain lion. So go ahead and fill this in. 